Hello everyone and welcome to Bay Area Focus. I'm your host Michelle Griego. We've got a great show this morning with some events and places you'll definitely want to go to. But first, let's talk cocktails. Why not? The Salt House in San Francisco is known for its world class cuisine and this morning we are going to get a taste of its world class cocktails with lead bartender Gabe Coates. Welcome to the show. Hi, how well, are you? I am great. Yeah. I'm excited and a little nervous that this is our first segment and you're going to be pouring drinks. I know it's not <laughs> often a uh, bartender gets to 10 bar in the a.m. in front of these Beautiful lights. You're not it's, used uh, to this shift. Very are exciting. You? <laughs> yeah, it's cool. The morning shift. I'll take it. Morning I'll take shift. it. Here we go. Well, this is exciting because you've brought a lot of beautiful things to yeah. uh, to make drinks yeah. with. And this is when the seasons are changing. And it is. It is. We're going into late summer, so we've done our summer fun cocktails. Um, we've had our kind of light, exciting cocktails. Now we're going into kind of late cocktails, transitioning into fall into that more savory thing, um, but we still have like a couple really fun ingredients coming out for uh, uh, late uh, summer. Um, melon is one of them, that'll be in our second cocktail. Uh, the first cocktail that we're gonna go with though is an old fashioned, okay. um, only because it is the cocktail of the hour of the year of the last five years. It's knocked out the martini. It is now, uh, I would have to say, the number one cocktail. The first time I had an old fashioned was in New Orleans. So, oh, wow. yeah, so let's get started on an old yeah, fashioned. Then. Yeah, yeah. So and you know, the that? reason, well, okay, so an old fashioned. Um, you know, it's been made different ways throughout history, and that's what's so exciting about these classic cocktails is that there's been many different ways to make them throughout history, and it kind of reflects the times we're in, you know, like it, uh, it, it, it changes with the times. Sure. So the old fashioned that's going on right now is very pared down, it's very um, sleek, so to speak, mm -hmm. uh, very booze forward. Okay. Um, so basically, it's going to be bourbon or rye. Okay. Today, we're going to do bourbon. Um, we're doing a um, small batch from Four Roses. So that means they've selected their barrels and they've mixed it specially for this bottle. Uh, very unique taste right there. Um, and then it's just a little bit of simple syrup and two types of bitters uh, go into ours. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have to be, but we're gonna do an orange bitters as well as an Angostura bitters. Um, Okay, and, and you're gonna make that it. now? I'm gonna make it right now. Okay, so Watch make this. that and I'll talk to you about, about this old fashioned. Yeah, cool. Now you said that this has been the hit drink for the last five years. Yeah, it's absolutely. Come back. You, you talk and, and pour at the same time. You're Two used to that being a bartender. Time? Yes. Oh my God. Being a bartender, I don't know if I can you're do used it. to that. <laughs> yeah. Um, but so it's come around, uh, what, in the last yeah. five so, years? Yeah, so you know, it was. Popular again? Yeah, it's always been on the, the radar, so to speak but it's really gained popularity and gained momentum in the last few years. You know, it is like the uh, cocktail on everybody's tongue. Mm -hmm. You know, it used to be the martini. The martini used to be what people went with. Now it is that, you know, whiskey style drink. It's not the Manhattan. It's very sophisticated too. It is, it's okay, sophisticated so and going, simple. Oh, get to keep the other going, keep too. going. Yeah. All right, cool. So <laughs> we've added our bourbon and now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna add a tiny bit of simple syrup and at this point, you can really maneuver the drink however you want. And you've been doing this a long time, so you can just I've it. been doing it 20 plus years, mm -hmm. so it's all kind of uh, uh, very intuitive to me at this point. We did very little simple. Uh, you can add as much as you want. What's that was that? orange bitters. Okay. So this is a Regan orange bitters, uh, one of the better orange bitters on the, uh, in the market right now. Um, and then this is gonna be an Angostura bitters. Angostura bitters, classic bitters, kind of the quintessential bitters. Um, now we're gonna add a little bit of ice. Okay. This Chill it out. Yeah, exactly, get it cold. You wanna have it cold. Okay, we got our mixing glass here. You can mix in a pint as well, but we do the mixing glass, keep it kind of fancy and classy. Now when you do your stir, you wanna agitate the ice as little as possible. So on the outside you stir? Yeah, you don't want to okay. dilute it. You know, the thing with stirring is it takes a lot of practice. You'll see your bartenders and it'll look really easy, but we take a lot of practice to do this stuff. So now we've mixed it, we've got this thing cold, and we're ready to strain it. So boom, boom, right here, and here we go. All right. All it looks right. Good. So we got a little over two I'm ounces of booze in there. It. Get excited. <laughs> this is gonna be yummy. Perfecty. 
Um, okay, so we only have two minutes, so we got to get... Two more minutes, yeah, let's do this. So All right, cool. Get, so I'm going to reach across you real fast and give you this. Because okay. this is the final of the cocktail. If it doesn't have an orange twist, it is not an old fashioned. It's not an old fashioned. So the orange is what, it's the cherry on top. Yeah, yeah. And you know, that's funny you said cherry because this used to be made with crushed cherries as well. That's a 50 style old fashioned. This goes back Ooh. to a little deeper in history. That's okay. like a turn of the century. I'm not style a big whiskey fashion. drinker, but you let's are do now. Yeah, I know. So while <laughs> I taste this, uh, tell me about that other drink you were talking okay, about with so the melon. This, this is our late summer cocktail that we're about to do here. And this is fun. So we're going to take a gin. We're going to take a London dry gin, uh, Sipsmith in this case. Yeah, the morning just got better, right? <laughs> yeah, it cool. Did. That woke me up. <laughs> All right, this will this will this will calm you down. Okay. This is our gin cocktail. So we're gonna do two ounces of this London Dry Gin. This is Sip Smith, uh, great quality product here. Boom, that goes into our shaker cup. We're gonna shake this one. Now we have an Ambrosia Melon Cordial. Sounds wonderful. Yeah, this Sounds is good tasty. stuff. So this is actually made from fresh Ambrosia melons. Um, Puree it up, a little simple in there. Awesome, clean, fresh stuff. That's gonna go in there. We're gonna do a little bit of lemon, just for a little bit of acid in there, a little mm -hmm. acidity. And then we're gonna put espalette pepper. Espalette pepper is a Basque style pepper. Um, pretty mild, but beautiful. Wow, yeah, that yeah. looks great. And that's really what's gonna kinda make this drink unique. Now, the fun thing with this drink is I don't have a name for it yet. Oh. And I need help getting a name. Okay. So the working name was Cruel Summer after that famous Banana Rama song, I which I love. I remember that song, which is a great song. Yeah, definitely. And it's very summery with the, with the flavor. I'm going to shake this up. I love the sound up. of this. This is awesome. Oh, it's, it's addicting the sound. <laughs> it really is. And know what's really fun about this for a bartender? What's that? You can drown out the crowd. Oh, yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you can. But you get to meet cool people, I mean, Oh, absolutely. Every day. I love my guests oh, all. I mean, they're pretty. fantastic. So, yeah, we're getting this kind of late summer afterglow feeling to this thing. So, this Hand is the cocktail <laughs> right here. Okay. And I get to taste this. Yeah, taste that. Okay, so you're saying Cruel Summer. You can just name it the Michelle, and I'll be fine with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also... Hmm. How oh, this should we, is very good. How should we garnish it? What should we do okay. for a garnish? Um, the melon, plop that in there. I'm going to talk to these guys real quick, and we're going to go to commercial. So be sure to check out Gabe's Cocktails at the Salt House Absolutely. in San Francisco. Absolutely. Salt yes. House. Thank for more you. information, you can go to salthousesf.com. Cheers. Coming up, the UNICEF Gala when Bay Area Focus returns in a moment.